All right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I have something um, more to talk about concerning submerging from the deep. But um, I want to make it clear that whenever the subconscious is being changed and we're called to um, change it because the signals that show up are all the chaotic, um, erratic Uh, situations that come into our lives personally. I want to make that clear. So I did a recording on submerging from the, you know, from the deep. And so in order to submerge you first or emerge, you must go and submerge. So we have a process. And um, about two months ago, I was in meditation and I seen a lot of people Um, coming up out of the ocean. Um, I meditate on the ocean and on high levels where I'm sitting up because um, they bring me a lot of inspiration when I see myself there. However, um, when I saw the people coming out, they were coming out so much that there was a backup in the ocean. And what that told me is that there were a lot of people that were entering in or submerging into their subconscious or dealing with subconscious issues. And some of them do not know or they did not know at that time that their life was being guided powerlessly um, where things from their past, which is your subconscious um, mind playing back things over and over again of what happened to you earlier in your life or even in um, past lives. So Um, There were so many people that were backed up in the water that as people came in, they were sitting down because they wanted to learn. Um, And that means that you want to learn what you didn't know. You want to undo what you didn't know. And what um, we must look at is number one, I'm going to go and I'm going to give you scripture. Psalms 42 and 7 says, Deep calls unto deep at the noise of your waterfalls. All your waves and billows have gone over me. So the deep has called in so that the waters have taken over and they have become um, more Uh, prominent than who I am. And that is a mindset of negativity. So the waters of negative have overshadowed my body. This is what Psalms 42 and 7 is saying. Now I go back there because this is my foundation and I see the connection. In the Piscean age um, and in the 12th house, there are things that people are called to do subconsciously that cause it's called undoing, which means that you have to unbind yourself, untie yourself from practices that were not productive, things that set into your subconscious um, when you were younger, as you got older, even in past lives that, yes, you don't know about. The only way that you could do it is going into the inner spirit because, you know, we talk about how to do it. Um, And I'm not the type of person that will push you, but because I know and my experience has been learned, I feel like when I see these people and get this, this was all men. You know, men were coming out of the ocean sitting and they were wanting to be taught. So there's a relearning that our patriarchs need to get, but they have to submit. So what is the big picture here? The self undoing. What has caused you to um, cause uh, breakages in your life where you couldn't be successful in different areas of your life? What areas of your life is it? If it's all your life. Is it financial? Is it relationship? Is it, um, Friendships Is it maintaining a home? You have to look at where your success has been lacking. If you wanted to be a business owner and subconsciously begin to work with that and say, what signals are you giving me that I thought so negative that I believe that I can't overcome in these areas? This is where you begin to self undo in that process of the water because your subconscious mind is not going to change without you going in. 
You have to go in and tell it, I am the master of my soul. I am the master of my soul. There, it begins to repeat, I am the master of my soul. And then it comes back around to you. I am the master of my soul. I am mastering my life. I am love. I am peace. I am happiness. I undo the unproductiveness, the anger, the bitterness, the lies, the deception that I have, you know, sent out into the world or that I believe is the premise of the foundation of what I live in. And so... When we get back and these people are there, my point of view is to say this here, there is a lot of things that's happening with, happening with water energy. And with that, we want to be mm, mindful because water energy moves by the person first. And then it becomes a collective um, situation where we do have mm, situations that are going on in the water. There's evidence of new cities being found, but also there is new cities that are being created through volcanic act activity in the water this this will come and people will see it this happening a lot of the storms that we're having are showing us that water is trying to get a message over to the people subconsciously and what would that be to go within because in most cases if it's raining and storming outside you're not going to stay outside you're going to go in your house it's the same additive of go within your body because your body is the temple of god okay and i want to add that Peter, Peter had to step out into the deep and he had to do it because he was the apostle of faith. If he hadn't have did it, of course, somebody else would have came around, but he was the one that was chosen to stand on faith. And that faith is water. That means that you're not standing on the faith that you had. You're standing on an evolved type of of faith. That means that it's a faith you have not exercised before, something you have not done before, okay? And so if you have any questions that you want to ask, um, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. So one of the things that you want to look at is the constant repetitious thought patterns that are showing up outside of you in your life that you don't like. It's not about the people that you're affiliating with per se, but it is you. Now, when people come into your life and you don't like them or there's a clash, sometimes that's your shadow showing you that what you don't like in them is what you need to release from yourself. And that's another part of what where the subconscious attracts things to us. So we're attracted to abuse if we have abuse in us and it has not healed, all right? So all of these people are in the water and you can't see them because it's in the spirit realm. And they are emerging or submerging because they gotta take away or throw away stuff. This is a new day, new beginnings. People are being left behind and get this, I don't want to be hard when I'm talking. The people that I work with, we share this information. There's a lot of people that's been called into the deep and they have fought not to go because they want to live life the way that they want to. Some of y'all ain't got no reason to rhyme with what's happening. You were called to come here to fix some stuff and you have the ability, but you're sitting in your house saying what you're not going to do. Well, I want to ask you, are you bigger than the universe? Because if you are, baby, I need to come and meet you. With that being said, we got a lot of people that's going to be checking out because they did not answer what they were supposed to with this new world that's coming. Yeah, new world, the new earth It's in Revelations. It was all already a setup. So, you know, I meet a lot of people that they'll tell me, oh, you know, I don't want to hear all that religious stuff in the Bible. Let me tell you something. If you wise, you will understand that wise men follow the stars. And so between the stars, the Bible and astrology and spirit speaking to you, you get knowledge on the times. And we're in a time where people are being taken away from this here life and new people are coming in. Oh, the other thing is, is that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Those that have been holding on to positions and standings and not allowing others to evolve, guess what? Your foundation is being shaken. So you can't have it all. It's for everyone. We all have a part to play in this here world. That means that if you don't give up that position of standing, then you're going to be put away so that others can get it because there's other voices to be heard. There's other people to do administration. There's other people to be in broadcasting and entertainment. You feel me?
All right. So a lot of people that did not answer the call into the deep that wanted to be shallow, like shallow hell, they're going to be checking out. Sickness is upon the earth. And this is not like a fear-based thing. A lot of people are afraid. And that water that I'm talking about is showing the emotions. You can run, but you can't hide. You got to check in and honor your assignment. All right? You guys have a wonderful day. Be blessed. And uh, again, this is about the subconscious mind being changed, the emerging of souls. All right. God bless you.